Hi. It'd be an understatement to say it's been at least a minute. We don't we need, need to talk, talk about, about it, though. It's passed some time since I've started getting the obligatory comment on where I went, and ever since, the only people trafficking my channel are literally bots. So for the first time in basically a very long time, we're back at late night. The last time I made one of these, the first and only one was all the way back in 2020, directly after season one of Gun Guide, and probably before I even had 3,000, no, not even that, 300 subs to my name, and my thumbnail art looked like this. This series really only exists for me when I have something to say about things outside of the video games, and I guess I'm here to talk about what I've been busy with and what I'm doing now to revive the corpse that is my channel. It's late, I'm Snipe, so let's just get into it. For the past month, really, the answer to everyone in my DMs and comments asking what I've been doing has been the obligatory finals. And while, yeah, I do do school, who would have guessed, guessed, and yeah, the end semester is pretty hectic on top of the work that I do, the reality is that that answer isn't fully accurate to what's been going on recently. Now, if you watch this channel at all, you probably know I more or less never talk about my personal life, and while I'm not about to give you the epic tale of my lifelong Herculean battle with depression or whatever literally every gaming YouTuber seems to be peddling these days, I will say that the actual reason for my absence has been mostly general disinterest. Disinterest in gaming, progressing my channel at all, and just overall being creative in my own life, I lacked the motivation to get anything done just because I gave myself excuses based off of what was happening and now I'm just kind of here by myself and I'm left with this overall looming idea that with the possible exception of a sub 10k YouTube channel, nothing I really say or do makes a positive impact on the world. But really I think through everything I've just realized that the moderate level of success I found here is one of the last things that actually makes me really happy. So for the past couple of days I've been genuinely looking forward to making something of my own again now that there's nothing else to do really. So yeah. If you've been on my Discord server recently, you've probably seen me tease the thumbnails for both this and a pre-take on Operation Exodus, which I'm at least excited to discuss, but you'll have to see what I have to say on it when I finish the video pretty much right when the update comes out. For now, I'll just say that I, I like it quite a bit, and while I didn't do the CTE, and I haven't seen footage at all, I'm hopeful it turns out good because in concept, most of what they've teased is pretty promising. I've also been interacting more on my Discord, there's a link in the description below if you want to join it yourself, and I've been more active with producing things. A project I've had on the drawing board for a while is completing a gun guide on literally every gun in the game by the end of this year, and then having a sort of final gun guide that's just a tier list, where I just show you where outside of my own opinions and favorites I have each of them placed in terms of how I think they fit into the meta. So I spent a couple hours yesterday putting what I have so far together here, which is the only instance where you'll see it before it's done. So you can see what's changed by then when I do have it out, and shout out to Estuary. I think I'm saying that right, who did it first on my Discord server and posted it, which reminded me to get started. Past that, in terms of insurgency at least, I want to do a cosmetic guide, but seeing as I've already put several hours into redoing my gallery like this week, I don't want to do any more because I've heard next update's going to reset all of that with the presets we have established, which makes sense because they're entirely reworking the carrier system. I really hope they don't make us buy like another camo for every single one of those because that's just going to be unaffordable. I'm going to start taking like ads from Raid Shadow Legends or something. But yeah, outside of that, the other thing is, while I was being a lazy shitter, I got and played a ton of Tarkov, and I'm ready to produce at least a video on that. I've discussed it before, and a lot of people have asked me for my take, so in the future I'm probably doing a poll to see whether you'd like to see a critical look between that and Rainbow Six Siege, which is something I teased a long time ago, and I'm finally ready to talk about in full. So I guess you all have that to look forward to at some point, as well as the obligatory funny video shit and just some gun guides that you'd grow to expect from here. And finally, I guess I'd just like to say, thank you to all of you who ended up watching this and more or less all of the people who've supported and hopefully enjoyed my content. It really means a lot and I'd like to give back more to you guys. I'm working on having a channel membership set up for no more than like a dollar a month. I want to make some custom emojis for you all and maybe a badge and some access to more exclusive, possibly less algorithm friendly videos, but I'll leave it at that for now. That's probably more of a 10,000 subscriber milestone anyways. Outside of that, yeah, I really can't say enough how thankful I am to have something like this that I can just go and make videos that so many of you watch, and from now on, it's safe to say you'll see a lot more from me in the future. So, good night, and I guess I'll see you all out there in Exodus.